because we are in it to win it and by that i mean we are doing file input and output file input and output the last section of python so let's see how the, how this works see it believe it um click check out all right so it looks like we're creating a list with a was it i believe this was called a conditional and we're saying f open this and I'm not sure what the W is. You know, let's just let's just submit and see what's going on here. So this is what we end up getting, I guess, when we submit it. One, four, nine, sixteen. Ten lines of numbers. So let's get started. We're gonna create a variable called my file. Set it equal to open. So uh, function on output dot txt. So that's some sort of file. In this case, pass. We want to pass something r plus as a second argument in the function, and let's see what this output is not defined. Oh, this needs to be in um, quotations, so we're looking for a file name. My guess is, all right. So. Iterate over my list to get each value. Is that what's going on here? Use file dot write. To write each value to output dot txt. So we need to change this. We'll do file dot dot write. I. Make sure to call str on I. CR. These are strings we're passing through. I think this is what we're supposed to do. I'm not positive though. So file that right. Or my. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Let's see here. Add your code below. So we're not messing with that at all. So we want to iterate over my list. So for I and my underscore list. Um, file dot write str i make sure to add a new line after each element to, to ensure each will appear slash n uh, plus slash n this is how you do a new line I guess and tr 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 use my file close to close file and then all right, so then we want to my underscore file dot close. Let's see if we did everything correctly. Uh, write requires a file object, but received a string. So file dot write. Oh, excuse me. My is it my underscore file dot right? There we go. Quiet growl. All right, let's see here. So uh, we're gonna declare a variable called my file. Set it equal. Set it equal. To the file object returned by calling open with both output.txt. All right, so we're going to set it equal to open, and this is going to have one parameter, output.txt, and then we're going to have the second parameter, r, and I don't think they've actually explained to us what this second parameter does yet. Next, we want to print the result using read on my file, so print uh, my underscore file.read. And then we have to close it or else the file remains open, I guess. It's probably bad in terms of memory use. So we, we, oh, we read it, then we close it. So next we need to declare a variable again called my file and store the result in open. This time we want to open um, text.txt. And R, oh, these are commands. These are like um, DOS commands or command prompt commands, I think. 
So, our read only mode, and then uh, on, on three separate lines, print out the result. So, let's print my underscore file dot read line, and then So it wants us to print this out three times. I think that's what it's saying. And then my file dot close. So you're gonna refresh the page. Don't worry, your code is says. All right. It says I need to refresh the page. Sorry, but I'm going to need you to refresh the page. Don't worry if that says Python. All right, so let's see what we, let's read through here real quick. Open text.text .text file in R. So variable open equals, and then this is the mode. That's what that stands for. My file dot read line on three separate lines. Print out the result of one of the Okay, so it looks like we're doing everything correctly. We have our file name and we have our mode. Everything's good. We close this and then it says to call my file dot read line. No such file or directory. So it seems that it can't find this text.txt. So let's go to the forum and see if maybe. Some other people are having that issue as well. That was five and nine. Let's see. Oh. Reading between the lines. Uh, reason for five slash nine bug. Alright, so for those who still are in the problem, you're changing the exclamation mark to a dot. Yeah, so let's just try changing the R on my file to R. Nope. Alright, so file input output. Looks like people are having an issue with this. TXT.R, my file. Just write something extra. And the TXT, I thought saying that input. Can anybody fix it? There's some issues. There's no end of line in the first line, so update the TX G file as below. Let's see here. My file, my file, read file, print my file, print. Let's see. So we're having a little bit of an issue here. Five nine, what am I missing? I've added WR plus mode after this. It reads three empty lines. All right, so let's try that. There we go. Um, so just tried adding a WR plus. Uh, I guess the file's empty and it's having an issue. They should probably update their their um, their code, I guess. 
Alright, check out our extremely bad code in the editor, like the last screen. Save and submit, you'll, uh, click save and submit, you'll notice a read file, read, didn't read any data back, text still, still appears, text.txt, add a write file, close on line 9, write underscore file dot close on line 9, and on line 13, add a read underscore file dot close. Not closing files is very bad. I, that was the point of that. Check out the example in the editor. Note that we don't explicitly close our file. And remember that we, if we don't close the file, our data will get stuck in the buffer. Click save and submit to see. So, success. All right, now you try. Right, any data you'd like to give with an S. All right, so, uh, so with, and then we want to open the file to txt dot or text dot txt comma and then we'll do the mode of wr plus as all right i should have paid more attention to like slide seven all right as text file all right so as uh text file and then we'll say text file was it dot right dot right yeah dot right and we'll just put success text is not defined it looks like you didn't write any data back to text.txt all right so, let's go ahead and copy this, let's see what's going on. So with open text.txt, and we'll just do W because we want to just write it over. So that's probably what's going on there. And we didn't capitalize our F here. Bam. All right, below, below your with as code, do two things. Check if the file is, is not dot close, and so we'll say text. We'll say if. So if text dot text file. I say is I say like is open. I remember in the if expression. That's okay. So I'll close. Five thousand. All right. Oh, if dot closed is equal equal to false. Apparently, it, but if you read above, it says that this will. Um, so if it's not closed, and then so we can call dot close text file dot close. Not to be con not to be confused with close. Else, you don't need else. All right, cool. After your it statement, print out the value of my file dot close. Print my underscore file dot close. We don't have a my file. Let's just see what's going on here. Cool. So we finished our Python course. Yay. Did a little bit of file input and output. I'm sure there's a, some good documentation you can find on that if you need it. 13 hours, 2.5 million students, beginner, technical level. I, I will say, though, I did think the Python course was a little bit harder than maybe the JavaScript or the HTML, CSS, the Ruby so far. Even though it's still, still beginner level, I think this is by far the hardest course that we've kind of messed with yet. So if you're still looking to do some fun stuff with Python, I'll be messing around with Pygame, which is a free Python uh, game library. And we'll be making like an entry level game and I'll, I'll try to see if I can figure out how to put it into a browser. If not, you can download it um, when I'm done making it and I'll be doing videos on that as well. So don't forget to check out my other videos and um, questions, comments, concerns, anything that you would like me to address and any ideas for videos are always appreciated. In regards to Codecademy, we will be doing um, 
some more of the make a website projects uh we're gonna jquery is probably our next our next challenge so jquery i believe is a little bit harder it's what 300 three hours oh my god we're gonna knock jquery out like tomorrow so we'll see you next time in the jquery videos or maybe ruby on rails depending on what we do thanks for watching